Hello everyone. Yes, um, it's nice to have you back again on this channel. Nice to uh, have you, like I know said. Um, well, it's um, a day after the part one of the Jalof Derby. Uh, yes, uh, part one of the Jalof you know, uh, Derby has come and gone and uh, it has its own uh, uh, its own take and that is exactly what I want to uh, react to uh, right about now. And so, um, if you are just you know, joining this uh, channel, uh, please uh, do well uh, to subscribe. Please just do well to subscribe, okay? And I want to appreciate everyone that have you know supported this channel uh, right from the one. Uh, we really uh, appreciate uh, your efforts, and uh, uh, I just can't you know thank you enough. Now, talking about uh, uh, the Ghana versus Nigeria game, you know that went down. Uh, it was uh, an you know an interesting game, a fascinating game. Uh, everyone really enjoyed uh, you know uh, the game, and um, I must not tell you that uh, yes, I really enjoyed the game. It was uh, a very very you know fantastic game. But uh, uh, the take home from the game uh, you know yeah, is that um, when uh, you know African teams really want to uh, entertain the world they will surely do that. And that's exactly what, you know, happened, uh, I know, yesterday. Uh, in Kumasi, uh, the crowd that turned up, uh, you know, uh, we, 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 we understand that over uh, 70,000, you know, uh, fans, you know, turned up for this game yesterday. We all could see that uh, uh, the stadium was jam-packed. Now, it is a 40,000 capacity, you know, stadium, but in the end, um, it was, you know, jam-packed and all that. And, uh, well, uh, the issue of COVID uh, was raised. Uh, COVID, uh, you know, protocol was not really observed. But uh, uh, talking about uh, uh, the, 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 the frenzy, the excitement, uh, the, the atmosphere, and what have you, I think uh, it was A-class and all that. And that's exactly what we want uh, in African football. Now, this is my take on the game. Now, uh, like, like we expected, um, Ghana is not a pushover. Even uh, the Nigerian coach, you know, uh, acknowledged that so Ghana, the Ghanaian team, the Black Stars of Ghana, I must give you no know, give you no know, kudos uh, to the uh, to the Black Stars of Ghana. They are not a pushover. Perhaps they just decided to actually prepare for the Super Eagles of Nigeria, but they were not a pushover. They give all uh, all they can uh, to ensure that uh, uh, they you know get the uh, the maximum you know um, result. But uh, the Super Eagles held their own. They soaked all the pressure. And uh, we expected that from the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Now, despite um, uh, the early pressure from uh, the Black Stars of Ghana, um, you know, the Super Eagles, you know, uh, you know, soaked in those pressures and all that, but finished well. Uh, the finished, uh, you know, um, the first half in the high notes, which is, you know, expected of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And the second half was still the same thing. Um, and again, uh, the Black Stars of Ghana uh, did not actually have a clear court chance or whatever. I'm not trying to say that they did not, you know, uh, test the keeper, uh, you know, the Nigerian keeper. But uh, a clear court chance, they didn't actually, you know, have it. Um, I think the Super Eagles of Nigeria, if I recall, had, you know, two chances. Uh, it was, um, you know, a very fantastic one for them. Uh, you know, uh, Moses, uh, Moses Simon could have, you know, um, buried the opportunity he had but he didn't if uh, you know if he had done that i think uh, the story would have been different this morning uh, but uh, all the same it was a fantastic uh, a fantastic you know game and um, the uh, Jelof, uh, you know, Derby Part 2 in, uh, uh, in Abuja on the 29th, that's on Tuesday, I think will be more interesting because this time around, there must be a winner. There must be a winner. Now, looking at um, um, <laughs> the situation, uh, whether or not the Super Eagles uh, were denied a penalty, ah, well, the, the, the referee actually gave a penalty. And the question is, well, uh, we had the Eagles robbed. We had the Eagles robbed. Did the VAR rob the Super Eagles of Nigeria? That's a big, big question. Well, the replay shows that before uh, the incident of uh, the handling of the ball, um, you know, the, the defender was tripped by a Nigerian uh, you know, player. And uh, because of that, uh, the, the penalty was, you know, denied or was taken off but i think that um well super eagles fans are not really happy with that decision but that is it uh, once you have a var in a game uh, that's what you expect and um 
well, all uh, I have to say is that uh, we just have to move on. A draw is not really bad. And uh, I would just hope that on Tuesday, we'll, uh, the Sporting Eagles of Nigeria can just, you know, uh, from open play, can just, you know, get the results. And uh, that is it. So um, I must give kudos to the Super Eagles of Nigeria for doing a fantastic job. They are already back in Abuja. And um, preparation continues. And uh, I think um, we should just, you know, uh, take the, uh, <laughs> just, just take that result as it is. And I think it's not a bad one. Okay. Um, thank you very much for uh, watching this, uh, you know, video. Uh, my quick reaction to the zero zero draw between the Black Stars of Ghana versus the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And uh, yes, we know that. Uh, <laughs> The part two will surely be interesting here at the Moshud Abiola Stadium in Nigeria. Thanks for watching. See you on the other side.